Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Happy Saturday. We're recording on a Saturday because <laughs> we are work. Yes, seven o'clock in the evening, and we are recording. Seven o'clock in the evening, recording podcast. What do you think about that? I think that we love you guys, we and love we you. love what we do as well. <laughs> we love you, most importantly. So, just real quick before we get started, this is part three, part three, I believe, of a series about traveling. And it's going to be cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's really cool. A lot of tips, a lot of things that we think that are important. And we have someone to think, think today. Yeah. So apparently there is a podcast that I didn't really know about called Mukshiki. <laughs> Chamado Vanda. Ah, Mukshiki Chamado Vanda. Yes, sir. And I don't know too much about this podcast. I just listened to one episode. It was really funny. But they give recommendations at the end of the episode. And, and they mentioned us. Yay! We are so happy about it. Yeah. So starting from like Thursday until Saturday. Yeah. We went from like. We had not a lot that of many new. people listen to us to. We were really high on the iTunes charts. <laughs> we were number one. For, number one. Uh, we're not anymore. We are the champions, my friend. Anyway, thanks, guys. If uh, Vanda, whoever you are, milkshakey, <laughs> if you want to come on the show, or if you just want free English classes, we really appreciate it. <laughs> and as always, you can learn more about what we do at English no Crew. Yes, no and one more thing. Thank you, Luis, that sent us a message and let us know about it. Because if it wasn't you, we wouldn't know at all. Thanks, Luis. Thank you for everyone listening. We are very sentimental lately. Thank you. Extremely grateful. Okay. Yay. Yes, okay. On with the show. Oi, fala aí, pessoal. Bom dia. Você está escutando o inglês no inglês no rádio. I am your host, Foster Hodge. This is your daily dose of English. Hey, hey, Alexia. Hey, Foster, how are you? I'm good. Saturday recording podcast. I'm awesome. Yes. Yeah. So we've been talking about travel. Yes. And today I want to talk about the difference between traveling to cities and traveling to small towns. Mm -hmm. So first, a student of mine pointed out to me that the phrase small towns is kind of redundant, you know? In general, a town is smaller than a city, right? Ah, we could say small cities. Is it... Right? <laughs> no one says small cities. Everyone <laughs> says small towns. But she's like, is that correct? Because this is my student, Camila. Hey, Camila. And she's like, small towns. I mean, towns are already small, right? And I was like, holy shit. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> so just another example of sometimes English doesn't make any sense. Yeah. 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 So what are we talking about it? Uh... Okay, that phrase could have been better, but I <laughs> totally understand, and it's Saturday. So, most people, when they travel, especially internationally, they go to cities. Almost every time in one of my first classes with a new student, I say, like, have you been to the U.S.? Have you traveled outside of Brazil? And they say, yeah, I've been to the U.S. And I say, oh, where did you go? With 90% certainty, I can guess, Miami, New York. Maybe San Francisco, San Diego, definitely Disney. That's it. Yes. Um, think about it. Cities, they have a lot to do. A lot of new experiences that people are looking for. So I get the idea of visiting a huge city. Mm -hmm. um, I love New York. I love uh, Miami. I don't know. But from those... Cities, yeah. I really, really do love New yeah. York. So can I stop you real quick, Alexia? Yeah. So when you said Miami, I don't know. Like uh, in, I have no I never I, been. I've never been to Miami. That's true. Because when you say conheci, like I don't know Miami. If you know a city, 
uh, in quotations, that means like you really, really know a city, mm -hmm. you know. But if you've just visited a city before in your life, you say, oh, I've never been there. Or okay, have so you been there? I could say that I really know Rio because I am from there. Yeah. In general, we avoid the Knowing. verb know with traveling in places. Okay. And we use have you ever been to. Okay. Yeah. We have an episode about that. Don't remember what number, but we'll put it in the show notes. Perfect. Cool. So, the thing about big cities, I think, is the kind of experience that you're going to have. So, everyone wants to go to a Broadway show, to a very good restaurant, to walk on the, at the Central Park, visit, visit all the museums. Yeah, museums. museums. So, you have the U, it's like you're saying the word U, like me and you, and then you have the M sound first, museums. Yeah, but... I do love small towns. They are my favorite always. Yeah, I am very conflicted about this because I love cities. I love cities. I lived in New York. I lived in Madrid. Rio. I lived in Rio. I've lived in some big, really big cities, amazing cities. But at the same time, I'm from a really small town in South Carolina. So I'm a small town boy. Yeah, I am a big city girl, but I do love small towns. So what I like about small towns is the sense of community that they give us. Yes, exactly. So for example, right now, Alexia and I are in a small town called Waynesville, North Carolina. You can look it up on Google Maps. It is in the middle of hell nowhere, <laughs> Western North Carolina. Very, very small conservative country town, right? Yeah. But there's a sense of community. You go on Main Street and it looks like everyone knows each other, everyone's happy. And in the city, everyone's like, work, work, work. Yes, Get out even of my way. with yeah. us, we took the dogs to the dog park today. I mean, I made three friends there and they weren't dogs, they were humans. So. <laughs> <laughs> It has reached the point where Alexia has to <laughs> specifically say if they are human friends or dog friends. <laughs> It's really bad, but that's for a yeah, different time. Yeah, and the restaurant that we went today to have brunch slash lunch, yeah. everyone knows each other there. Yeah, so I think that is something really, really important. I think I told you about this. I recently read a book called Lost Connections. It's by a British guy, and I think his name is Johan Hardy. I could be wrong. I'll put it in the show notes. It's really a book about, like, why every like, we have everything, but people aren't happy, mm -hmm. you know? And you know I'm very sentimental, like Anthony Bourdain's death, Kate Spade's death. Been very <laughs> philosophical the last few days. And the first thing he said, like, after years of research, the number one reason that people are not happy in the modern age is the lack of sense of community not being part of something right right and yeah small towns have that like just naturally built into them yeah and i get that i mean we are really really next to Asheville, like 20 30 minutes from it is it another small town but it's not that small yeah it's, um, i would consider Asheville a city also, I, i wouldn't yeah, Asheville is definitely a city is it Yeah, they have Urban Outfitters in the center. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Asheville is amazing. So my perfect life would be living in a small town next to a city that I could travel in 20, 30 minutes there, drive there, sorry. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Yeah. So trying to relate this to travel. So if someone is planning a trip to the U.S., visit big cities. They are awesome. You know, and nothing against them. You're going to spend more money. You probably will not have as an authentic experience, but make some time for the small towns. Too. Yeah. Take um, Portugal and Spain, for instance, and Italy. Every Italy. Italy. Everyone who goes to <laughs> Portugal. Really need to work on that. <laughs> Portugal, Spain, and Italy. They <laughs> Repeat with me. Id. I No, id. It. So you're saying it with the D, id. Italy. 
So id ou son de choix. Early. Id early. Id early. Okay. Id early. Id early. Much better. <laughs> en Italia. <laughs> tá bom. Para la italiano. Allora. <laughs> Allora. Um, I, I don't know, but I see my friends going, traveling to these places, and they always visit, like, Porto, Lisbon, and all the small towns next to it. And Madrid and Barcelona and all the small towns. Go to Rome, Venice, and they always go to small towns next to it. Yeah. So, really, the thing for me... And one thing. Small towns here in the U.S. are so cooler, so good. So much cooler. Yeah, so much cooler, so nice to visit. So, you're going to love it. Yeah. I mean, the the really important thing for me is when I think about my travels, I like to consider that I've traveled a good bit. I know Alexia is thinking that it's very pretentious, but I've traveled. Very international. <laughs> so when I think about my time in Brazil, I love Rio. Absolutely love Rio. I love Sao Paulo. I know what you're going to say. I don't think you do, actually. So when I think about some of my most important experiences in Brazil, I think about Petrópolis. That is obvious. Yeah, that is obvious. Uh, Novo Friburgo. Paraty. Paraty. Those are the places Bases. where I really, mm, like, I met real people. They treated me like a real person. And the coolest thing, if you are a foreigner in a small town, when I go to Post Chicaldas in <laughs> Minas Gerais, where Alexia's family's from, I'm like the only American there. And everyone's like, oh. Holy shit. You are a star, just the way I am here. I'm a superstar. When I, I go doubt. to Rio, everyone's like, oh, gringo. Like, yeah. O seu português é bom, cara, mas size. I doubt that there is another Brazilian here in Waynesville. I'm not talking about why Asheville. But I bet there is. I bet. No, there is If not. you're listening, please contact us. <laughs> We need friends here. <laughs> it's so long we're in the small towns. No, it's not. We are doing great. We're doing great. The moral, moral of the story, if you're traveling internationally, incorporate some small towns into your trip. Even in Brazil. Anywhere. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Cool. All right. Talk Happy Saturday. You too. Bye.